What you just did was a gun cell, right? So that means that when you punch them in the face, far the arms, they can't hear you when you trap them. So you're the ones who are attacking, yeah? So the one that we just did was where Steve goes jab, gun cells me, uppercut push, cross it across, right kick. Okay, so he's on the attack, yeah? So as you know with any move, there's also a counter, right? So he, well, you guys also need to know how to do the attack. Does that make sense? Yep. So now what we're going to do is something called a counter gun style. We call it counter gun, right? So this is the first defense. This works when, if Steve does it to me, okay, and I'm the one defending, go again. Wait, wait, wait. So he jabs me, but this time he might go too high on my arm, hurt me. So what I do, as he pressures in, I just step upwards and elbow in here, with my elbow straight into his face. Okay, and then I can follow with the combo afterwards. Okay, good, this way, Steve's guys can see. So when you do it, if I'm doing it to Steve, I want to get it straight across the center of his arm. Okay, there are different counters that you can do from here, but for this drill, we're going on the assumption that when he does it to me, he jabs, he goes too high, as he pressures in, I up with the elbow in straight underneath. Because there's a load of space under here, right? That's my counter. That's my gum sow counter, right? So he gum sows me. One, two, I right, up with the elbow in, throw across the cross, and then let him from here. Okay? Make sense? Yep. So now, on the pads, this is how you do it. Instead of just doing the gum sow and attacking, I now do it to him, right? And he's now countering it, right? So, speed jabs. Oh, sorry, I jab. I jab, I gun sell him, but I go too high. I hold this pad here, he goes up with elbow, cross the cross, left kick on him. Yes, no, left kick, okay? So he's the one who's now countering and gets my gun sell. So I jab, I go too high, he up with elbows in, cross the cross, left leg kick on him. A little bit faster. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. You have to, as a pad holder, go high. Right? There's different defenses if he goes in different places. For example, if he jabs me, but then goes too low, yeah, okay, then I can come over the top and start near the middle face. Okay, but that's something else. Sorry about that just now. Okay. So what we're doing is, pad holder punches them, goes too high on their arms, he counters with the elbow and then follows up. Make sense? Yeah. Alright, give that a try.